John Kirby, coordinator of National Security Council uh, in White House in the United States, just told the press that the United States is running out of assistance to Ukraine. But at the same time, the British government just confirmed its assistance to Ukraine to try to provide more assistance to Ukraine to support the war. Why is there some difference between the United States and the uh, United Kingdom? And how long the United States and the United Kingdom can continue to support Ukraine in the war? Actually, we can refer to some historical period to explain these uh, differences. The United States is facing a dilemma because any budget to support Ukrainian war or the Ukrainian government should approved by U.S. Congress, while the majority in the U.S. Congress is held by the Republican Party, which is strongly opposed to Biden administration, especially in 2024 election year. But the Republican Party's opposition to enlarging more uh, assistance to Ukraine have some financial meanings. Because previously, historically, those military spending enlarging have triggered a lot of financial crisis in the United States. For example, after the Second World War, the Britain Woods system had paved the way for a sound recovery in global economy. So the US dollar has become a stable currency that allows international trade to be conducted safely, that allows cross-border investments to be conducted safely. While since 1965, as the United States is strongly involved into Vietnam War, the whole situation has been changed. Because as the US government have to enlarge its military spendings, its indebtedness level is rising quickly. So within five years, in 1971, the highly indebted level have triggered a fear within the Western European countries. So they started to change their foreign currency reserve of US dollars against the gold. President Nixon had been forced to default on this commitment of exchange of gold and US dollars. That triggered the first US dollar crisis that caused the collapse of Bretton Woods system. So if today the United States continue to enlarge its military spendings, especially to give more money to support Ukrainian war, so look at the indebted level of the United States, it's unsustainable. There is no progress on the battlefields between Ukrainian armies and Russian armies. While British government just wanted to show their resolution to support Ukrainian armies in the battlefields, while British government is facing a more difficult situation than the Biden administration. Since last two years, the inflation rate is very high within the United Kingdom. And then because of the cutoff of the trading links between European Union and uh, Britain. So more and more British people are, is feeling the chilling of economic growth and the rising of inflation. So I just doubt how long the British government can continue to support to donate more money into Ukrainian war. Look at the Russian GDP growth. While previously, Russian economy lacked demand, while the war have created artificial demand for production. When the war machine is putting into working in Russia Federation, Russian economy development get better, paradoxically. So over time, Russia will have longer term advantage over Ukraine because the war is conducted in Ukraine territory. The behavior of the United government and the British government is to try to 
find some ways to show their strength in the battlefield in Ukraine in order to have some advantage before they came back to the negotiation table. They wanted to raise their stakes and to gain some advantage in negotiation. Well, it cannot be done in the near future. Mm -hmm.